what's up? I'm Caroline from carolinevencil.com and I am here today to answer some of my readers' questions with you. So let's get into it. Affiliates. Are they worth it? I'm confused. I started selling my first product. So does that mean that I never have to do affiliate marketing again? No. Um, this is actually like a really common misconception amongst people is like once you start selling products, somehow that as a blogger, that means that you are no longer ever being an affiliate. No, it just means that you have other sources of income for your blog, for your business and everything like that. But it doesn't mean that you have to give up affiliate revenue. Um, I know that there's plenty of people who say that they no longer focus on affiliates and that's totally fine. That makes sense for them. But to just say like, okay, now I, I made my first product and I never have to worry about affiliates again is not the answer to it. What you do need to do is kind of find that balance, right? Between selling your products and having affiliates and ad revenue and sponsored posts and on down the line as far as like income streams into your business. Um, we want a diversified income stream set. We want to have diversified streams of income. That was the word I was looking for. Um, so that we can make sure that our businesses are going to be safe no matter what fluctuations happen inside of the world, in the market, whatever it is. Um, so in 2020, um, with affiliates and with ad revenue, everything was like absolutely just like in the toilet, like pfft, crashed, burned. We're talking like my um, RPM for my blog, for my ad revenue went from... $20 for every 20,000 people or every thousand people, not 20,000 people, every thousand people, it went down to about $2, which is a huge decrease. And that's something that we want to not see again. But at the same time, if I was solely dependent on my ad revenue for my business, for my revenue, for my entire business, I would have been up the creek without a paddle. Thankfully, Ad revenue is only a tiny portion of my entire business revenue because of the fact that I have diversified income streams. So what we're talking about is, yes, I do have products. Yes, I do have courses, um, printables, a shop, um, um, coaching, membership groups, and everything like that under my product umbrella. And same thing with affiliates. I have tons of different affiliates that I promote. And I continue to promote them because it is lucrative. It makes sense. Now, will there be a time where you say like, it's no longer a good, it's no longer the best yes to promote this particular affiliate? That might happen. It might be that you made a product and it you now have an affiliate who you had been promoting, but you think that your product is better. And so you stop promoting that because it's kind of like it's in competition with your product. Not necessarily that you sought that out, but sometimes it happens. Um, I've been affiliates for people where I'm like, I will promote your stuff. And then if I make something that's kind of close to it, not a copy, obviously, but if I make something that's close to it, I'm obviously going to stop promoting their stuff and I'm going to promote my stuff. Sometimes that happens. Um, but do I feel like that's something that you should just be like, all right, I made my first product. I'm never going to have to do an affiliate ever again. I'm never going to make an affiliate link ever again. No, I don't think that that's a good call. Um, again, just because of the diversification, but also because remember, like sometimes we have um, an audience and we have we know that our audience has needs that we're not going to meet. Um, for example, so for my primary audience, my primary people are money saving people, are people who are looking to get their finances under control. And so I want to make sure that, you know, they're actually getting the help that they need. But here's the thing. One of the big areas of finances and getting your budget under control and learning about how to save money and everything is learning how to cook at home. I am not a good cook. <laughs> that is not my strong suit at all. Oh, and I know that. So would I ever make a course on how to learn how to cook better at home? No. Luckily, I don't have to do that because I know people who have courses on that content. I'm never going to make that kind of a course. And I know that about myself. I know my strengths and that is not one of them. Luckily, though, I do have affiliates who I can promote and will do so willingly and gladly because I know that that's helping my people still and I'm earning a commission for it. So do you get rid of affiliates when you start selling your products? No. 
Would you stop promoting something if it's in like direct competition with your stuff? Yes. That's just, that's what kind of makes sense. Could you be like, I have this product, but there's also this one and give your people the option to look and say, oh, I prefer this or I prefer that. Go for it. It's up to you. This is your business. You make those kinds of calls. Like there's nothing wrong with either way. But I definitely wouldn't necessarily like stop promoting affiliates. Now there is something that it changes as you've been in business for longer. Um, when you start to realize like if you are going to promote an affiliate, let's just say there's a bundle that's coming up and you are wanting to be part of it. Um, but at the same weekend that it's supposed to have its sale, you are supposed to run your own sale. And you're sitting there going, I know that from my product, I will at least earn, let's call it $1,000. I'll earn $1,000 this weekend off of just my product alone. Am I going to be able to make more than that from promoting this affiliate? Or is it going to be more worth it to promote my own stuff versus an affiliate? You have to start making these weighing, like weighing the differences and weighing your options and looking at it and saying, well, I only made $200 from this affiliate launch last time. So do I promote that or do I promote my course where I know I can make $1,000 and keep all of the money? Um, you could also look at it as a, again, weighing the benefits, like the costs and the benefits and everything here. It's like, well, I might only make $200, but... If I promote it and I have my product inside of that bundle, I can also grow my list by a thousand people. Would that be worth it? A thousand people who are good for my audience, who are possibly my ideal readers, who are more than likely my ideal readers. So then I could get more people on my list if I just schedule my sale to be the next week. So again, this is all kind of like coming back to you. You have to weigh the options here. You have to have all the information in front of you. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean like just because you start selling your own product doesn't always immediately mean that you're never going to promote an affiliate ever again. So if you um, want to start promoting affiliates or if you want to stop promoting affiliates because you've started making your own products, that part's up to you. I wouldn't. I still have run affiliate launches. I still do um, affiliate links constantly. So that kind of comes up to you, honestly. I would still do it. Um, but again, weigh your options. If you have a product that you think is better, don't promote an affiliate that's in direct competition. If you're running a sale and an affiliate's running a sale on the same weekend and you know that you will make more money running a sale for your own products than promoting an affiliate, promote your own stuff. That's, that's really kind of like the long and short of it. So be aware of that when we're talking about creating products. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean like that's going to be the only thing that you ever focus on for the rest of your life at all. You can still focus on affiliates. You can still grow your email list through um, bundles and partnerships and sponsored stuff. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind when we're talking about affiliates and still having your own products. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you learned a lot. I hope that helped you. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like, and leave your comments. Or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.